Well, when it comes to injuries, I have some good news and I have some bad news. It's uh, my name is Stephen Dawes. This is Palace to the Core, the place for you to get all of your Crystal Palace news, views and reviews. So don't forget to subscribe and like the videos and all that good stuff as well. So, Oliver Glasner had his uh, pre-West Ham uh, press conference and he uh, gave us an update on some of the injury situation. Now, apparently Jefferson Lerma picked up an injury against Liverpool. So he's not going to be available until the Man United game, which is 6th of May. So he's going to be out. So that's going to be a big blow to us because he's been covering at the back for Chris Richards. And uh, that's that's a bit of a concern who's going to be going in instead. Uh, also, he said that Chris Richards is um, subject to a late fitness test. He did train, but only very lightly. So he's going to be subject to a late fitness test before the game. He also said that Will Hughes has and Joel Ward have picked up uh, injuries. Will Hughes got a knock in training. And Joel Ward has got a bit of a groin injury. So both of those are also going to be late fitness tests for the game against West Ham. So it looks like we're going to be a, a couple of players short, I think, at least. Because I don't think all of those are going to be fit for the game. So that's a bit of a, a bit of a worry for us. So we'll have to wait and see who gets put in place in uh, instead. Um, one good thing, though, the good news is that Rob Holding has been training. He's now available for selection again. So he's going to be in the squad for the game against West Ham so we'll have to wait and see what happens there maybe he will take one of the places that's going to be vacant we'll have to wait and see and uh, so that's that's more bad news than good news I mean I'm not going to sugarcoat it you know we've, we've had our list of bad injuries this season and uh, we just added a couple more to it so might as well and uh, but hopefully they're only temporary short-term injuries and they're going to come back uh, relatively soon he didn't say anyone else is coming back and he didn't talk about any other injuries to any other players so we have to hope that everyone else is uh, is okay apart from those long-term injuries that we all know about anyway so in terms of the game itself he said that uh, obviously he's um, had experience of uh, David Moyes before when he was uh, playing in Europe with him or when he played played against him in Europe. And uh, he said that he's a very good manager. He's a very experienced manager. And, uh, he you know, he, he thinks he, he's, he's going to be a tough game. However, as he said many times before, he's not concentrating on... Uh, the opposition is concentrating on the, the you know the team themselves on Crystal Palace and what they can do. Uh, there were a couple of um, interviewers who tried to talk about the Liverpool game, and although he did talk about it and said how well he said that they did, he also said that uh, I'm not really going to talk about the Liverpool game because that's in the past. Well, you know, just because we won against Liverpool doesn't mean we're going to win against West Ham. We have to, you know, we have to earn the right to win against West Ham. It's not, it's not going to be happening straight away. I, mean, I think that's a good practice. You know, you don't want to be saying, oh, you know, we won this game, we've turned the corner, we're going to be all right. Um, he's, he said that every game has got to be fought on its merits and that every game they're going to concentrate on just as it is. Another journalist said to him that um, how many points does he think he's going to get now this week? Because we've got three games in a week, which is going to be tough for us. I know that for certain. But uh, and he said that uh, he's not looking at it like that. He says that he's looking at not how many points he thinks he can get, but how many points there are. So he's he's aiming to go for all of the points available. And if they don't get them, then obviously, you know, they, he wants them to have tried hard to to achieve that. So, you know, it's a good mindset to be given the players, you know, that, you know, it's not the case of, oh, can we get three or four points from the next week? Um, it's, it's about can we get nine points from the next week so I think that's that's good strategy and it's a good way to put it to the players he said the players have been working hard he said that there are a few things that he felt that they could improve on uh, from the Liverpool game and that's what he's going to be doing he's going to be trying to uh, well has been trying in the in the training session to get them working on those things and improving and he says they have worked very hard so you know it's it's going to be a good situation, I think. If we play the same way that we did against Liverpool, particularly in the first half, I think we're going to have a, uh, a good opportunity to make something happen there. And, uh, you know, I, I don't like to... I don't want to go and say, oh, we're going to win the game because then we won't. And um, I think it always tends to be exactly the opposite of what I predict is what happens. So I'm going to say that we're going to... I'm, I'm hoping we're going to play well again. I'm hoping that we're going to play like we did against Liverpool. Because that would give us the best chance to score goals and to ultimately take three points, which I want us to do. I want us to win the game. So my prediction is that we're going to play well. And uh, if I have to put my neck on the line, I'm going to say that I think we're going to win it. 
maybe 2-1, 3-1, something like that. You know, we we have got goals on us now. You know, I, I know we had a spell where we weren't scoring goals, but we do now have, I think, more capability to score goals than we have ever had this, this season. You know, Mateta is doing well. Uh, at least say and Eze are, are playing again. So, you know, we've got more opportunities now to score goals than we have ever had this season. So I'm going to put Maleka on the line and say we're going to win this game probably 2-1, I think. Um, West Ham are a tough team. You know, there's no doubt about it. They're a tough team. But they are they are not invincible. And I think that, yes, they do have some very talented players. But I think if we, you know, knowing Oliver Glasner as, as we have so far, he, the way he sets out his teams is very detailed he's very you know he likes to analyze teams and, and look at their weaknesses and i think that he's probably already done that many times before so i think that he knows what he needs to do and what the team needs to do we just need to hope that they can do it so that's what i'm going to be going for but i'd love to hear your thoughts on what you think um the score is going to be what do you th what's your score prediction for the uh for the games for the game coming up and uh, also let me know about the injury situation um i say i hope these injuries are short term but um, it's going to press that. It's going to stretch our squad even more with these injuries as well. So it's going to be tough, but uh, I think we can give it a good try. Let me know down in the comment section what you think, and I will see you next time.